Hello Year 11, sorry you can't be in school at the moment. Um, so our next lesson is to explore the formation of interlocking spurs, waterfalls and gorges. So we're going to do go through quickly, I'll explain it, got a couple of video clips for you as well. Then you're to complete the worksheet using the copies of the textbook pages I have left for you. So looking down the river, we know that towards the source of the river, at the top, we have our mainly erosional landforms. So this is where the river is cutting down, particularly vertically cutting. We get our interlocking spurs, we get our waterfalls and gorges, and that's what we're looking at this lesson. As we move down the river, we move towards more erosion and deposition dominating. So we get our meanders and oxbow lakes. And as we move down to the sea, we get our depositional landforms, our floodplains, levees, and maybe river estuary. So what we're going to do now is just look at a presentation looking at uh, interlocking spurs and V-shaped valleys. Okay, so what I'd like you to do, have a look in Show My Homework. Um, I have put a link to the YouTube video you can see on the screen. Have a watch of that and then come back to my video um, or you can just go with my description coming up next. So interlocking spurs. Now we know that these V-shaped valleys that we can see are formed when the weathering on the sides of the channel cause the material to fall down into the river, main river channel, then they are removed. What happens is we get sort of hard points, we get areas of land that are more resistant and they make the channel zigzag as it comes down. And these are our interlocking spurs in our V-shaped valleys. The river's not powerful enough to cut through a rock and obstruction, gets moved to one side and we get this zigzag form. So waterfalls. Waterfalls occur where we've got hard rock on top of soft rock. Now when that happens, eventually our waterfall, our water travels over the top, falls off the hard rock, the soft rock is eroded and that area is then got a lower ground surface. We get undercutting occurring here. As that occurs in the soft rock underneath, eventually this hard rock fails, falls down into what's called the plunge pool, and is then removed and our whole waterfall retreats and moves backwards. As it does so, what it does is it actually forms a gorge in front of it. So we get a situation which looks a bit like this, where we have our gorge in front of our waterfall. Okay, what we're going to do next is, um, I'll put a link at the bottom. Again, I've got another video here, Formation of Gorges, YouTube clip. Um, it's the same guy I think I probably showed you when we looked at the tees. And this is going to be our case study waterfall of the River Tees. So we can see here what I'll do. There's a link at the bottom for you to watch the video separately. I can't embed them within this video, um, otherwise YouTube will block my video on the basis of copyright, but you can jump out and watch those. So that is the formation of a waterfall as well. Okay, what I want you to do, think about these questions and put your answers down. And then you're going to need the worksheet. I've given you pages 118, 119 of the textbook. I want you to complete this showing the characteristics and formation of both interlocking spurs and then waterfalls and gorges. Remember the V-shaped valley formation. You can see the animation running here on the slide. The fact that the river cuts down vertically. Weathering weakens the rock either side. Eventually that material then collapses and falls into the river. As that does so, it's then removed and we then end up with our V-shaped valley. What I want you to do next is complete your answer to this question. I'd like you to complete this and this is what I want you to submit to me for marking. Please submit this and show my homework. This is how I will know that you have accessed and taken part in this lesson. So explain why a waterfall is only a temporary feature on a river's course. And this is a four mark question. Okay, just to finish off, can you go through, 
have a look at this model answer, mark your answer, improve it, purple pen it or purple text it if you've typed. And then I'm going to leave you with some independent research to do before our next lesson. Um, our next lesson will be later in the week. I'll do another one, hopefully slightly um, more detailed and better prepared than this. Um, obviously, we only found out fairly recently that you guys would not be in for the week. So I haven't had a great deal of time to prepare something as detailed as I was doing for the online learning during lockdown. So your final task is to do some independent research. I'd like you to search online, find photographs of each of the three landforms. Okay, either in, uh, so interlocking spurs, waterfalls and gorges, all examples from the UK. I do not want you to use high force though, because that is our case study. I then want you to add details labels to describe the main characteristics of each landform, then explain how each one was formed. So please make sure you've as a minimum submitted that four mark exam question answer. You've got the two extra video links as part of the presentation you should have watched as we went through. But other than that, um, I will be online again shortly with your next lesson and then I will see you after half time. Thank you. Bye bye.